Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can load your own models in Olama. Now, I'm sure every one of you have used models from Olama. You can go to this models and you can download your favorite models. But what if you have created a model and you want your model to share on Olama? So this is what we are going to learn. And at the end of the day, you are going to have models like this. For example, this Hermes 2 Pro model, which is the model that I have loaded. So if you want to use this, you need to put this Olama one prompt slash Hermes to pro and this prompt is the name of this account login that you can see here. So this is a username of, of prompt and slash the name of the model that I have chosen. So initially you would have the sign out. So you need to sign in and then you would be able to upload the models. So for uploading the models, what we need to do is we need to do a few steps first, basically. First of all, we need to go to settings here and in the settings, we need to go to Olama keys here and in the Olama key, depending on whether you are in Mac, Linux or Windows, you would have your keys located there. So for example, I'm on my Windows system, so you can go to user users username dot olama and you'll get this id in the dot pub file there so if i go to my folder here so you can see that c users olama and you can open this with uh, basically notepad and you can see the keys here you can just copy this key and what you're going to need to do is once you copy this key you go ahead and add olama public key here and add in the key there okay so that is as simple as that. We just add in the key there. Okay, so this is a simple part. Next, let's go and upload our models. So in order to do that, I need to create a new file here. So I click on new here. And this is the name of the model. So let's say my model is DeepSeek R1. And let's say, what do you say? 1.5 1 billion. So 1.5 billion or 15 billion, let's keep it 1 billion. So deep seek R1, 1 billion, and you can put it in a summary. Okay, and this is a public repo, a public model or a private model. I'm going to put it public so that you can use that too. Next, we are going to click on create models. And then we are just going to push this model. So ultimately, we need to Olama push the model. And first of all, we need to copy our model in this name. Okay, so how do you do that? Let's go back to a, a, a command prompt and let's go and start from there. Well, better let me go to a folder where I have downloaded a model. For example, this Olama YouTube, I have this uh, Deep Cigar one distill Quen 1.5 billion. Q8 GGUF. So that's a very long name. Let me change this name to model.ggUF. And then let me go to a CMD. And you can see that we have this file here. So model.ggUF. What we need to do is, well, first of all, we need to have Olama installed. So if we want to use Olama, we go to Olama here, we go to download. Since I am on my Windows, I go ahead and download for Windows the exe file. Once I have the exe file, I install that and on the bottom, you can see that Olama is running here. If you go to CMD, you can just type in Olama and you should have a list of commands here, which means Olama is running. If at any point of time it is not running, you can just say Olama serve for serving the model. Now you can see this command Olama list. This will list the models that I have. So you can see that I have so many models here. Well, first of all, we have a space here where we see all these models and we want this model that we are trying to upload here to be in our list here. So for that, we are using a ggUF file again. So we have model.ggUF and using this ggUF, we are going to create one file. So for that, we need to do is Olama create. So let me make some space first. So Olama create. Now what do you want to create? I want to create a model named, uh, let's say DSR1. 
and it's going to use something known as model file and inside the model file so let me create a model file first here so a new text document for example let's do model file and inside this model file what we need to put uh, is just open with and here i'm going to say from uh, model dot ggf so this is the name of the model here just that and i need to put a system prompt a u uh, r let's say you are an excellent uh, chatbot for example control s for saving this and close this so that's it we have the model file now now with this command olama create ds r1 dash f and model file inside the model file we have written that we want to use this ggw file now when i run this i should have a model known as ds r1 inside my list of models that i have so that's a success here and now if we go to olama list we will see that we have ds r1 latest here now that's it it's as simple as that so using a ggf i've created a model on my local system now what we need to do we go back and you can see that we need to copy this the model that we have into this folder into this uh, model name so i just copy this and here we need to copy this to prompt ds so olama cp the name of the model that we're talking about here the name of the model is dsr1 that's my local model here and what i want to call rename this to prompt slash dsr11b so that is done copy it is done next we need to olama push and this command so we put in here and just push it so once we mm -hmm. click on push it should be starting to save the model to your olama login for you to share with the rest of the world so we can see that it is retrieving it is pushing and we will be able to see in just a second so it says that you can find your models here you can go here or you can go to your model section and in the model section you will be able to see your own model which is dsr1 1b and this is a model of 1.9 gb q8 quantization and you can run this you can go ahead and run this now with olama run prompt slash ds dash r1 dash 1b now in order to show that this works what i'm going to do is i am going to remove this model first so olama list and you can see that we have prompt ds r1 1b first of all i'm going to remove this okay so olama rm prompt dash ds r1 and 1b so that's deleted you can check the list of new models here we don't have that model we can even delete this model as well dsr1 because this was the model that we had created locally and uh, rm here next we'll see the list of models so we don't have anything here so now what you're going to do is you can go ahead and we can download this model so olama one prompt so this is my model this is prompt ingenious model that you can download and use so this is pulling the manifest it should load up in just a few seconds and we see this we have this model so let me ask you a question what is the capital of india let's see the output Cool. you can see that it's pretty fast and you see that the it responds it's basically it responds and it's it's what works so the next time you have some interesting models make a ggf file and upload it to olama and share it with the rest of the world if you like such short videos please subscribe tell me something on the comment section and i will see you in the next video bye